In this video, we're going to take a look at an iPad app called the Solar System. The Solar System was designed by TouchPress, the same publishers that created the Elements and something that we looked at in an earlier video. Let's go ahead and see how that works. Now just like the Elements, when you first come inside this, what you'll see is a visual representation of all the bodies in our Solar System. If a student wants to know more about, let's say, Mars, all they need to do is click with their finger. Once you're inside, what you'll see on the right hand side is a planet where you can touch and rotate and zoom in and out. Now what I really like about this is that it's not just a pretty picture. This is actually based on real life map information, in this case over here, from the Viking 1 and Viking 2 orbiters. Another aspect of this app that I really like for students is that the information over here isn't dry. What they try to do is draw the student in with some interesting fun facts and interesting history about the planet that makes the student want to read more and more. For students that actually want to dig a little deeper, what they can do is click in the lower left hand corner, and what it will do is give you some key facts, but really not much here. Where the interesting stuff is if they click right over here, the second button, Wolfram Alpha, it will actually bring them online if their iPad is connected up to the internet, and just like the Elements app, what it will do is allow them to go in much more detail and really dig a lot deeper into any specific information they're looking up for any celestial body. Another thing I like about this app is that when you're on the main page of each planet or body, if you look in the upper right hand corner over here, you're going to see a little icon if you click on that. It will actually show you the place of the planet in our solar system. If you click, for example, on one of the moons and zoom in, you can see the rotation, the orbit around the planet. I'm going to click on the Earth now. I'm going to zoom out. Let's click on Jupiter. And what you can do is take this slider over here. So for example, right now, for every one second that goes by, this is represented by four months of time. Or I can slow it down. When I'm done, I can click on Done, go back home, and if students want to look things up in alphabetical order, they can click right down here where it says AZ, and they can browse through the entire app alphabetically. So if I click, for example, underneath Neptune, I see Storm World. It brings me to the section on Neptune. In summary, what I like best about this app is it's a lot like the elements. It brings a subject which could be potentially dry and makes it really exciting by having a nice visual interface that students can touch and interact with. It also works well for students that are learning in an individualized setting. Last but not least, what I like the most is that the students have a choice on how they would like to approach their learning. If they want to look through things at a very superficial level, they can browse through the app and read about the planets and all the fun facts. Or if the students are more serious, what they can do is click on Wolfram Alpha and get a lot more in-depth information.